Hello, this is the Sethirby, and this is a review on the Griffin Survivor for the iPod Touch 4th generation. It is priced at Walmart at $26.89, and it, as you can might be able to see, it is in three layers. The screen cover, the rubber part, which absorbs a lot of the impact, and the inner part that holds the iPod mostly. And we'll take it apart so you can see that. It takes a little bit to get this off. And if you can see, it's held on by six clips. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. And just let me get this off and we'll look at the three layers. Okay. First, this is the screen cover. There's a thin, kind of like clear plastic that goes over the screen to protect it from mud and water. And it does a pretty good job of it too. I've gotten my hands dirty and touched it and it keeps it dry so yeah and even when it's wet it still responds well with the touch so yeah that's nice and you can see that's where the home button goes and that's the camera and the plastic does go over the camera so if you get water on that it won't get in there yeah and then the second layer here is this rubber take off And you can see it's pretty flexible. And there's the two holes where you can see the plastic, this, this plastic here through there. And as you can see, this is the home button, the volume, sleep wake, power button, whatever you want to call it. And the bigger opening here for the plug in with the USB cable and the 30 pin whatever they call it and the speaker also comes out of here too and this is for your headphones this little one right here so yeah, and there's the hole for the camera right here and the flap is connected to the third part which we'll show here and so you can see you kind of take it off and it turns like that it, it's kind of a one mold piece here, which kind of connects in there. It's kind of a bad hinge, but it works good still. You can see this, the, the holes for the sleep wake and the power and the ports back here too. And there's a little bit of black plastic here, or foam. That's foam. And there's a hole here where you can see the Apple the iPod logo kind of but it's all covered up so it doesn't really matter I don't really know why they stuck that hole there I guess it's for a little grip you can see that there's a little square that pops out here that kind of fits in like that so I guess it's to help it from sliding around so yeah this is plastic it snaps in there nicely and there's also the clip which goes on the, the belt clip and it's also a stand which I can show you later when I put the case back together and it snaps out like that and holds and you kind of push this it's kind of hard but it still works good and then you can kind of push it in like that to lock it so it doesn't fall off your belt so easily and that's kind of hard to get out too and it pivots like that and that so you can set it up and I'll put the case back together so you guys can see how it clips on. And this goes in like that. You have, when you're putting together the case, you have to put this part in first so it the ports get lined up. I'll just do that.
takes a little bit to put back together. There we go. I'll put back together. So you can see that there's kind of a hook part and then kind of a hook part too, only it has this. This part goes at the top and this part goes at the bottom. Like and you put this part on first on the bottom and then this comes up around like that and you just push it over and it clips on and it stays on there very well. It's not going to fall off. As you can see it bring, gives it a little bit more I don't know what you call it, but it just sticks out a lot in the back, I guess you could say. And it flips up like that, and this again, you pop out like that. Let me get that all the way. And it sets up like that. The only problem with this is, is if you want to watch a video and stand it up, and it's low battery, and you want to charge it, you have to take this off again, because it covers up the ports here for where the charging cord goes in so that's kind of a kind of bad but it's not really a big deal but you can still get the headphone or the earbud jack in there it still pops open like that yeah and it flips over on the other side too it doesn't spin 360, but still, yeah, it works good. And the home button isn't sticking out all the way because there's no iPod in there, so it's kind of just bent in there. Yeah, usually when the iPod's in there, it sticks out very well, and it, the home button works really well. And one of the bad things, though, and it's a good thing and a bad thing, is that you can kind of see that the front of the case kind of bulges out from the screen and it's kind of hard to hit buttons along the edge or in the corners but that's also a good thing because if it falls on the face then the screen doesn't get cracked so much it gives it a little bit more cushion I guess you could kind of say so yeah very durable I've dropped it on asphalt from two feet in the air and it hasn't scratched or anything protects it very well. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.